my loves thanks for returning i hope this video finds you happy and doing well as you know by the thumbnail this video is going to be another get ready with me using a few new products so if you're interested then just keep watching all right so i've got some more products here and for the most part of it most of them are new all of them are drugstore or slash affordable now i do have like for instance this uh, becca palette this is the barbie something palette i'll put it on the screen and you all know that becca is going out of business and this is now at tj maxx and marshall's so if you are a becca fan and you want to pick up some becca products you can definitely run over there and get you some again this is one of the products that i've had sitting in one of my boxes for a minute so this is only like a few bucks so I talked about this one in the video. Of course, as you know by the thumbnail, I have the Morphe foundation. And actually, I have all of their foundations. And probably in an upcoming video, I'll probably talk about all three of them together. But I do have this one on my face now. I also have the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen. And I absolutely love this, okay? This product to me is foolproof. You know, it's really easy to use and your brows really don't look like they're overdone. You know, y'all can definitely let me know what you think, but I love this. I also picked up the NYX Epic Ink Liner. You know, in Ulta it said it has a big new sign, but then when I looked on the internet, this thing is like, I don't know how old. <laughs> so I have this. I also picked up the e.l.f monochromatic multi-stick um, I have this on now and if you like blushes that have a lot of glitter and sparkles you know so much so to where you're gonna see it if someone's talking to you in person if so this is definitely your girl if not I would just stick to just using this as a lip product but I've got that on now and for the lashes I just call these baby lashes I have the aqua marina uh, House of Lashes collab with Sephora. This is another product that I've had for a while. These are on sale now for $7 and it could be a permanent markdown. So that's why I wanted to include these. These aren't drugstore, but the price is definitely drugstore price. What do I have? What else do I have in here? I've got the BFF Alondra and Elsa palette. This is it right here. I have that on my eyes. The other products are older products and I have them on my face. Of course, I'll have everything listed below. And yeah, if you all are still interested, which I hope you are, then just keep watching. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna start off with this is the new NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pencil. And it comes in a little packaging like this. And as you can see, the tip is really sharp and pointy. And there is the swatch right there. So I'm just gonna make some strokes, some thin hair strokes and just kind of fill in my brows. And so far I like this because it's not really applying too much pigmentation all at once. I guess that's why it's called a tint, but I really like this. So I think that's about as much as I'm going to do on that eye. And I'm going to fill in this other side. All right, so I got it all filled in and I actually like it. I like the idea of this being a tint as opposed to just a full on pencil because the tip is so thin to where when I apply the strokes, it really does look natural and it's so light until, you know, I feel as though I can get away with filling in my brows and being face to face or out in public without someone knowing, oh, she filled in her eyebrows. I feel like it looks natural as far as what I can see and I have my magnifying mirror and the regular mirror so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and carve out my brows and I'll be right back All right, so I got my brows all carved out and I'm gonna go in with this little baby right here and I need to decide what type of look I'm going to do. So my first thought is to do a blue look because I got some blues over here, blue over there. 
and let's see yeah i think i will i'll do a blue look but i'm gonna go in first with i'm gonna go in first with this blue shade right here i'm gonna add it right here in my crease and i think that this palette has so many pretty colors in it so pretty and i didn't say it before but to carve out my brows, I used the Sephora Matte Foundation. And I didn't set it. So I'm just applying and packing at this point. And then I'm going to blend it out as much as possible. And I'm going to try to keep this look simple and quick. <laughs> and the brush that I'm using is a Smashbox brush. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's just a regular crease brush. Okay, so that goes on. That went on relatively well, in my opinion. All right, and then for my brow bone highlight, I'm going to use Latte. It's the shade right under here. And I always like to use just a flat uh, paddle brush to apply my brow bone highlight eyeshadow and then after I apply it I like to take a clean brush and just blend out this uh, crease shade uh, whatever shade that I put here in the crease and my brow bone shade just kind of blend those in together so now that I have those two applied I'm gonna take a clean brush and just kind of blend those two together like this All right, and so now that I have that applied, I'm gonna go in with Bougie, the shade right here, and I'm gonna put that right there on my lid. And I'm gonna use a smudger brush, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to wet this shadow or not. I'm thinking I'm probably, oh no, okay. I don't have to wet it. So I'm just gonna apply that right there, like so. Let me see if it goes on any better with my finger. And of course it does. And it's a really pretty color, very reflective. Okay, all right, so now that I have that applied, I'm gonna go in with You're So Sick. It's like this teal ocean blue, and I'm gonna apply that right there on the inner part of my eye. Okay, and it's going on really nicely. So I'm gonna start off by applying it like this. And then I'm gonna go in with a different brush to just kind of blend it out more. All right, so now that I have that applied, I'm gonna go back in with, what is this blue called? I don't know what that name is, but I'm gonna go back with the blue that I used to put in my crease, and I'm gonna add a little bit more. And I think I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit more. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay, now that I have that applied, I'm gonna go in with that blue and bring it right here close to my lower lash line. And I'm probably gonna have to reapply it after I put on my foundation and concealer. All right, so the next thing that I'm gonna apply is my eyeliner and I'm gonna use this Epic Ink Liner. And in Ulta, it had a big new sign next to it. But when I got it home and really researched it on the internet, this thing has been out for years. But anyway, this is it right here. And the tip is really sharp, okay? And there is a swatch. So you could get you a thin line as well as, you know, kind of a thick one. You can make it as thin or as thick as you like. 
So let's just see how this applies, shall we? And I always like to see how these type of liners apply over the shadows. You know if they skip or anything like that all right so i got that applied on this side and what i always like to do after i apply my liquid liner is i like to go over it with a black shadow like if it's not drying matte like i want it i'll go over it with a black shadow like what i'm doing now all right so i'm back with the eyes done and now I'm gonna go in with some lashes and these are kind of new uh, probably within a year or so and these are the House of Lashes collaboration with Sephora and the style that I'm going to use today is in aqua marine and here they are they've been on sale at Sephora for some time now for seven dollars so that's why I kind of wanted to go ahead and include these because it could be a permanent markdown. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply these lashes and I'll be right back. All right, so back with the lashes on and uh, I think that I could have gone in with a larger pair uh, because I feel as though the eye look is kind of overpowering <laughs> these little lashes. I like to call these size lashes baby lashes. So anyway, we're gonna go in with the foundation and the shade that I have is Rich Neutral. Comes in a package like this and this is in shade 26. So I'm just going to apply some on the back of my hand like so and this is it. So as you can see, it's not very fluid. It's so I'm just going to apply this all over and then blend it in with my brush. And then after that, go back over it with my sponge. All right, so this isn't full coverage. I'm gonna see if it's buildable. I'm gonna add one more layer. All right, so I got this all applied and I think that this foundation oxidizes. Well, there's no I thinking it does oxidize. Um, I feel as though I see it changing in front of my very eyes, <laughs> at least on my end. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some concealer and highlight and contour. And for that, I'm just going to just use my Juvia's Place concealer. And you all know that I just do this for highlighting purposes. All right, so I got that applied and I'm going to use my CoverGirl translucent powder to set all of that concealer. All right, so now that I have all that applied, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Uh, cream contour palette, and I'm just gonna add this darkest shade. All right, so next I'm gonna use this matte bronzer and this is in deep tan. 
I think that they still sell this. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure, but we're just going to add that. I have the e.l.f. monochromatic multi sticks. These are the little blush sticks. Um, you can use them as, they say you can use them as a lipstick or a blush. So come in a package like this. And I think that I'm just going to, I'm gonna kind of warm it up on the back of my hand and just add it like this. And it is, this shade is pretty, is rather glittery. Put a little bit on my nose. And it's not very pigmented, but it gives you just enough. And it doesn't look like it picked up my foundation. It doesn't look like it did. All right, so now I'm going to use this Becca palette. And the reason that I'm including this one is because this one is at TJ Maxx and I think it's being, well, it is being discontinued. It have to be because Becca is going out of business. So yeah, these are some really nice shades to me. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go in with these two shades and that's what I'm going to apply. And I always have liked Becca's uh, face products as well as their highlighters. And I think I'm gonna change the shades. I know that I said I was gonna use this one. I think I'm gonna use this one instead. Yeah, that's really pretty, super pretty. I think I'm gonna put a little up here <laughs> just to overdo it. Okay. All right then, so let's see. What else do I have in this box? That might be it. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to find me a nude lip to put on. <laughs> you know, love the nude lips. And this is just a lip gloss by Makeup Revolution. And now I'm going to apply some more mascara on my lower lash line. And I think this is pretty much it. You know what, I think I'm gonna use this Rimmel pencil and put this in my waterline. Just to kind of brighten it up a little bit since this whole look is kind of on the dark side. All right, so this is the final look. <laughs> Tell me what you think. Um, I think that I liked everything in this bunch for the most part of it. I didn't love everything, but I think that it all came out decent. Please let me know what you think down in the comments. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.